I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <gasps> there you go, Victoria. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st Seriously, century. I could but I like it old school. And capture you in I do love my analog camera. And I should take a quick picture. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit- shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. 
A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Even her school books are gift-wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to you always Welcome to the real world. Cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Terry Flash. What's the point of Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. Just and she plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. In a world without you American girls I'd like to Be part of the world around you 
driving. I need to go splash the water on my face and freshen up first. Watching the world from the bright side. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown except for me. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yes, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her. Diane Arvis. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the- I should rewind. I did it! Can you give I me actually a did it! A photographer who perfectly captured human the human time condition machine. in black and white. Anybody? Max, don't freak out. Bueller? Not yet. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Keep it Why together, Arbus? Max. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll her. know this is for real. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. 
A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I resist. The point can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me I after class. A French painter and I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again process. and give him the right answer? Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo. So, you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard on the shot, and I'm sure... I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really... I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't... Photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. <laughs> I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please. Please, I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Yo, Daniel, you remember that it's payday? You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. What's that got to do with Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the... 
butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Wowzer, so it's happening bitch. again. I need a hammer to break it open. We're going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, holy shit, I can't let this happen. No. I need a hammer to no, break no, it no, open. No. Max, don't fuck around. Rewind. Or this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I need a hammer to break oh. it open. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Carfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm... Just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family. And one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Black... Nathan Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her.
Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Obviously can't go there. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah! I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Yeah. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. missed something. I better rewind.
This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. <gasps> what the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Jill, Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look... Great. I can't even chill on the steps. Nice, bro. Awesome. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Dude. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. History took so long. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely- Thanks for the warning. They live. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. <laughs> Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. 
Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. It feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birth. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Sunlight, it'll be alright. 
Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. I look so pathetic. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage porn makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. That's the only tourist picture. That was a good man. Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. <laughs> Philip Lorca de Corsia, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. So tell me the truth or rotten there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Juliet, this is so stupid. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Answer, you wuss. Ah.
I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Juliet, read this. Of course! I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. I look, I am so- Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall.
No need to go there now. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. This shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. 
Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now... I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. At least Rachel Amber has people who care about her. Come on over here, please. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop, cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch. I told him the truth, a student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what, give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. I could call the police. 
Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom! No. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. 
This isn't exactly my chill-out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? I don't feel grown-up, just more confused as I get older. Especially after today. Gee, thanks. I was hoping to hear something positive. About me? No, about me. Duh. I thought you'd at least be happy taking photos. Forget it. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? I take photos. Of me, the world, everything. It may sound sad, but I have a blast. It doesn't sound that sad. I'm happiest when I've got a great image in my lens. I'm not lonely, not afraid. Now that's more inspiring. I don't feel so totally hopeless. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. I wonder what Chloe keeps in here. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. It won't play without any power. Too bad I can't stream any music from Chloe's lap. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. I think this junk swallowed her discs. Houston, we have the power, but we need to find a disc to play. I think this junk swallowed her discs. Is this a desk or a storage space? Hey, give me that! Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. 
Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. What about your mom? What did Joyce think about all this? She couldn't wait to get rehitched. Step dick is one reason I wanted to bail. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. I should be able to find the tools I need here. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. This is so lame. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. Check out the muscle car. 
Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Man, I should have done that before they fell. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking.
This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. Oh shit! Poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. You've been resurrected, Birdie. Fly, be free. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Booyah, you skank. Karma's a bitch. Nice framing, too. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared, too. I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Like who? Like anybody. Stop stalling, sister. The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. 
I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> this day couldn't get any stranger. song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes! Break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off! Turn it off! How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on! Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. I'm giving you exactly three seconds to open the door. One, two, three. Shit. What's going on in here? Why is she here? None of your business. I don't like strangers here. Stop freaking. She's not a stranger. This is my friend. Great. Another one of your friends. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait! Is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. It's not my pot. It's from Max. Is this true? Uh, yeah. My pot. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future.
Isn't this awesome sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke. Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Chloe's step douche better not cause me trouble. Sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. My pleasure. Feels nice out here after all that drama. You really took one for Team Chloe. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? I wish. You know I would have read them. I'd love to. They must be important or he wouldn't hide them deep in his garage bunker. He kind of creeps me out. I bet the truth is out there in his files. Most likely, but it's good you didn't find his files. He would go ballistic. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it! He's so hella fucking paranoid! I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. 
Now, I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum-rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass.
Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Oh no. The tornado is headed straight for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real, it's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Through the pleasure